Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother 22 chat. It feels like episode 26, but it's only six. I can't believe we're only in week two. It's wild. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, so Memphis was the HOH. Mm -hmm. He nominated David and Unicole. Oh no! So called because she loves unicorns. Yeah. Um, so we see both of our season 21ers right. up on the block. That's right. Memphis's speech was extra. There was a little controversy about that. Okay, but it's interesting. We, we mentioned last time, too, the reaction to the speech mm -hmm. seemed so magnified compared to the actual speech that we saw. Maybe there was more to the speech that got edited out, but from what we saw... I think there was, because... Even Danny was like, that was a lot. That was a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, people are not feeling Memphis right now. They don't like the way that he talks to most people, but especially David. Mm -hmm. like, he is extra brutal to David for, like, He's no mean, reason. For well, what? Because he thinks that... Uh, David does not belong in on, on an all-star season. Well, it's messed up. It's almost like he's trying to, like, haze him, like this is a fraternity or something. I'm, I'm not for You're that. You're gonna get kicked off of campus, Memphis! No more Greek life for you! You're gonna ruin it for all of Greek life! That's right. So Tyler and David have a little chat. Tyler's ready to scoop up David. He's been saying he wants to work with David. He's super pissed off about Memphis Did you and say he speeches. was embarrassed? embarrassed we heard a lot of that he's embarrassed tonight. but no he's like f that old man like we're gonna go out there we're gonna crush him in this veto yeah this maybe this is how he played like 50 to 100 years in ago. 1943 big brother 10 <laughs> well i feel old now but no yeah, right it was like exciting in the moment to hear tyler give this speech but then like watching this back on the show knowing how the veto turned out i was just like yeah. oh no well, Unicorn was a real mess. Yeah. She, she needed a mop and bucket to clean up after her. She was not expecting to go up on the block this week. I'm really sad. <laughs> yeah. Um, she was really relying on Janelle and Kaser. 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 <laughs> I'm very tired. I know. <laughs> relying on Janelle and Kaser to keep her off the block this week because yeah. she thought they were like super tight with Memphis and they did too. But Memphis is doing his own thing. That's right. I don't even know if Memphis is doing what's in the best interest of his alliance. I think he's just doing what Memphis wants to do. Well, that's the thing. Like he's super close. Well, not super close. <laughs> what am I saying? He <laughs> has an open line of communication with Janelle and Kaser. Right. And even though his alliance doesn't like them and wants them out, he's like, I'm good with them, so, you know. <laughs> Tough. Why am S. I going to go after them? I mean, but really, like, why would he go after them? I don't know. Probably because they're the biggest threats in the house. But he's got, like, an in with them. He'll be good with them. Yeah, but he won't have to worry about them if he takes them out. Yeah, but he's going to be the old man left alone. The old cheese stands alone. <laughs> Well, Janelle is talking to Memphis, and Memphis doesn't care who goes. He's like, well, first of all, he was like, that was a little harsh, right? <laughs> yeah, that was so Gross. bad. Gross. So bad. Yeah. And Janelle had to laugh it up with him. She'd be like, <laughs> just to be like, yeah. I, I know how to sell a house, honey. So. Yeah, Janelle and Kesa were definitely working him for some info, and he was like, I don't care who goes. I could, I could care less. Incorrect. I know. <laughs> and Janelle says, mm, Well, if have, you don't care. How about a back door? Maybe Nicole F? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she's got this thing going, this rivalry going with Nicole F. They both hate each other, even though Nicole F invited her to her wedding. Oh. Now what am I going to do? So there's just bad blood there. I think mm -hmm. this goes back to like, Amazing Race, and even before that, there was, like, weirdness between those two. So, yeah. Nicole F. is targeting Janelle. Janelle is targeting Nicole F. And she's they're trying to get, even, up, get her up on the block. They're not even cast in the same demographic, for crying out loud. Can't you two get along? Well, Memphis is like, what? Because he's working with Nicole F. And Janelle's like, yeah, I know that Nicole F. is working with Tyler, Cody, and Danny, because I've walked in on their powwows. What? And Mem in that moment... 
Memphis's underwears turned around without even taking them off. He gave himself wedgie. <laughs> no, they like totally completely turned around. That's quite a trick there. Party trick. That's how upset he was. That's like some Zoolander pull your underwear out of your pants situation. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's like, ooh, it, because mm-hmm. Janelle and Kaser are on to his alliance. That's four out of six members right. of his alliance. Right. So he's like, um, I just, I don't feel like Nicole's a threat right now, so, like, I don't, I'm not worried about her. Well, anyway, David and Nicole had a sweet moment. They're they both did. from season 21. Mm-hmm. And they're friends. They are. And, uh, David gave Nicole a little pep talk. You should pull yourself together. You, can you go know, out there with this veto. Yeah. It was very sweet. These are two of the likable people from <laughs> season 21. Two of, There's yeah. only a few others. Yeah, exactly. All right, so, hey, Enzo's a dad now. Yeah, they had a nice little segment here because so many of the house guests are parents or, like, in that place in their life where they're, like, ready to be parents. Hey, first time I played, my kids were like fetuses. Now they're like humans. Yeah, they're like humans now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Memphis. Nicole F. wants to be a mom so bad. <laughs> I'm sure she's, like, sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sure she's going to be, like, a great mom, but, like, didn't she use the term smother mother? Yes. That seems very accurate. It seems very scary. Yeah. And then Kevin was talking about why he's playing this, this game. So I feel really bad for Kevin. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want him to have a his little family that he wants. I know. I know we've been, like, giving Kevin a lot of crap the last two weeks for his... Really bad reads and gameplay, but, like, I really do love Kevin as a human being, and I hope that he is able to... Terrible player <laughs> this season. Wonderful person. So far, but, like, he could, you know... Wonderful person. Change. But, yeah, um, I hope that he's able to get a baby. I hope he gets Have what he baby. wants. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I, and I hope he gets his little family. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Memphis and Cody. Oh, boy. Memphis is spilling all the information that he just got from Janelle and Kaser. Memphis is thrilled that he's got Janelle and Kaser fooled. Yeah. And he's got them in his pocket. They're giving him the info. Cody's like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. And Memphis lets him know that they know four out of the six. You guys are sloppy. He knows from what's the going alliance. on. They know what's going on. What? So Cody's like, well, we got to backdoor them, one of them, because we can't have Derek them. Told you to we do? can't have them going after people in our alliance. Wait, wait, let me look this up. Derek said, in case anybody finds out what your alliance is, then you're gonna have to backdoor them. Mm. <laughs> That's yeah, what he said. So Cody's like, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta do it now. Mm-hmm. And Memphis is like, do we though? Like, I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't slap Cody down and say no, no, Cody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So Cody goes behind Memphis' back to Tyler Dan- and Danny and says, we're going to have to win the veto because Memphis doesn't want to do anything. Right. We're going to have to take uh, things into our own hands. We're going to have to take action here. That's right. And we're going to have to win the veto and backdoor somebody. We're going to have to force him to show his hand. Oh, boy. Even though he's in our alliance. So, yeah, Danny's all like, it's not right. Like, what's the point of this alliance? <laughs> All right, so it's time to pick players for the veto. Okay. Memphis picks out Ian, mm-hmm. and Unicole picks out Tyler. Oh, boy. And Tyler's all pumped up because not only does he want to save David, but he also wants to potentially get Janelle or Kaser up on the block. Yeah. And David picks Nicole F. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> but right. before we get to the veto competition... It's time for a performance of BB All-Star Wars. Whoa. And that's Ian's punishment, in case you didn't realize it. Yeah, so Christmas, just a reminder, Christmas picked him to be her plus one for the safety suite. Mm-hmm. Um, so he has to do this punishment for the week. In costume? Yeah, so he's not just, like, wearing a costume. He's got to act out four different scenes. But he doesn't even have the job yet. He's got to audition. So the director's going to say, again, again, again. Yeah, so. And he's got to take the notes, too. Okay, every time he gets the, like, prompt from 
Big maybe. brother. He's got to put on the costume. He's got to act out the scenes. Sometimes alone, doing multiple parts. Sometimes with friends. Mm-hmm. And Sometimes waking up. Yeah, in the middle of the night. And um, waking up people to help him or watch him mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, and after he's done, he gets feedback and they're like, I hated it. Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> or like, you need to do it with more, uh, more like Tom Cruise. Or stop. Sort of. <laughs> Woo. So, yeah. yeah. They've got him doing it like most, multiple times in a row. It was fun though. It is fun. And you could tell he was like really enjoying it, at least in the beginning. I wish they would have showed more of it. Like some of the good things. I takes. mean, we might see more like later on. All right. So Memphis tells Nicole F. Hey. Janelle wants to backdoor you. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's freaked out. She's like, why does Janelle hate me? I don't get it. But, like, yeah. this edit was not completely accurate because Nicole F. has been talking nonstop garbage about Janelle. Would you say it was this whole time? Janelacy? I would. All right. Janelacy is running rampant through this house. Rampant. Well, Tyler wants to win and force Memphis to put up Janelle or Kaser. Mm-hmm. So the veto competition started just after midnight. Yeah, it was late night. It was probably a combination of uh, we've got rolling blackouts, the we've got triple digit heat, and these things light and up. And we got these glow sticks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got to use these glow sticks. They did look pretty cool. They did. So this was a very simple competition, and it was kind of unusual for a power of veto to be an endurance yeah usually they don't have like an endurance like this was a straight up endurance that's crazy for a veto competition so it's pretty interesting but it was called all starry night so they had to stand on their little rave boards Mm -hmm. and hold another this is kind of survivor disc with a ball on it it was very survivor s but the ball apparently was very heavy and it looked like the disc was or, also or heavy. tray was really heavy as well. And they did not adjust the weight for each person. So every person had to hold up the same weight, which seems really unfair for, yeah. like, the women or, like, the smaller Tiny unicorn. Players. Yeah. So it just didn't seem fair. No. So Unicorn was out first. Like, almost immediately. Yeah. That sucks. Memphis had a bug or a fly or something on his nipple and he wanted somebody to punch it off <laughs> what the frig <laughs> punch me yeah punch my nipple <laughs> david had some uh crazy dramatic swings and saves there oh yeah it was like when somebody puts on mascara and they're like and his face was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> So it came down to Tyler versus David versus Memphis. And David uh, decided that all of a sudden he was just going to start yelling. He was like, trying to, like, throw Memphis ah! off. Yeah, he was like, ah! And Memphis was just like, it was not working. David ended up dropping I mean, Memphis it. had a bug on his nipple. You can't get much more distracted than that. So, yeah, I yeah David. Memphis's ball was glued to his. No, because it was definitely moving around. Oh, okay. But um, David ended up dropping out. He blew it. And then uh, Memphis won Tyler over Memphis. Tyler. Yeah. And he was really showboating there. At the yeah, end. right at that, he was like. <laughs> yeah, it was like, ooh, this is like a ping pong ball. Whoa, whoa. Come on. You showboating mother effer. You know what happens <laughs> when you do that? <laughs> what? Uh, you're going to get your ass bit later on. Mm. You know, Carla? You sound like granny now. Nothing good happens after midnight, uh, I was, daughter. I was thinking more of you're laughing now, but you'll be crying oh, later. Oh, that too. That too. <laughs> Granny's got a million of them. Oh, my God. All right. So, Nicole is embarrassed. She's embarrassed. I feel bad for her. She lost. I, no one was expecting her to win. I mean. I mean, she was. That heavy ball. Well, when she saw what the competition was, yeah. like, there was no way. But, yeah, she was super bummed out. And um, if you guys haven't been following the feeds, I think we're in for... <laughs> Quite a journey with Unicol on oh tomorrow gosh. night's episode. Unless they totally ignore it, um, we'll see what happens. I've risen from the ashes. I'm risen from the ashes before. I'm a phoenix. I mean, she did pull off a crazy flip last year. Mm-hmm. So that was then. This is now, though, kids. That's true. These are this is all not stars. The Nicole of twenty one. Mm. I think, yeah, yeah. right. 
She's just, she's dealing with a lot of past trauma from last season, and it's been very difficult to watch play I think out. it's been very overwhelming for her, too, to be up against these legends. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. All right, so Nicole F. tells Christmas that she's afraid of being backdoored. I'm so scared. <laughs> Yeah, she's not she's not happy about Memphis not making a move to protect their alliance. She's mm-hmm. like, you know what? Like after this, I'm freaking done with Memphis. Why yeah. am I gonna work with him if he's not protecting our alliance? Even Danny wants Memphis to use the veto. We mean even. She's like spearheading this. <laughs> I know. She goes in there with her banana and she's all like, You need to do something. <laughs> <laughs> She wants uh, Janelle backdoored, though. Well, of course, not, because... Not uh, Nicole F. I mean, Danny's been doing a lot of shit talking as well. Yeah. But um, what was I going to say about this? Okay, this conversation was Janelle like C. super... Yeah, this conversation was super awkward between Danny and Memphis because mm-hmm. Memphis was like kind of basically laughing at Danny for being like, we need to ma- like take action against Janelle yeah. and Kaser because they're coming after Alliance. He was like, it's week two, not week three. Like, <laughs> Yeah, she what was a like, difference a week makes, right? Why are you talking to me like this? Do you know who my dad it, is? It got very like awkward for a little don't bit. Don't mention him. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Well, anyway. All right. Well, Cody wants Memphis to Cody is also like, dude, we should do something yeah. here. And Memphis is still like, "Mm, no. (laughs) How many people are going to be turning on Memphis next week? I mean, they've got bigger fish to fry right now, I think, but... Do they? Memphis is definitely the first to go from that alliance. Oh, yeah. As far as them getting rid of someone. Yeah. So it's time for the veto meeting, and wait... Ian's got to perform first. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I love when they do that. All right, so then Memphis doesn't use the veto. Again, another questionable speech or not? I forgot what he said. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Was it? I honestly don't remember what he said. I don't know. I. It's probably just more of the same BS from him. I don't know, but... And uh, surprisingly... Unicole says, I'm going to blow shit up. Oh. Going to blow it up. Oh, boy. I'm not going to go out of here quietly. I feel like she's blowing the wrong shit up, though. Yeah. She has a very bad read on what's been happening this week. (sighs) Yeah. So we'll talk about it tomorrow. If you guys haven't been watching the spoilers, you should definitely check that out. Definitely check it out, because it was wild. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, Leave your thoughts in the comments. Or your thoughts. Yeah. No, keep your thoughts close. We don't we don't want them here. <laughs> There's no side pieces here. All right, so it's uh that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. And until then, much, much love. love.